What's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Anelli here, answering your questions today. Today's question is, uh, in my experience being around Major League players, are most Major League players cocky? Um, and so let's kind of get into that because, you know, when I was... Before I played professional baseball, just watching TV, I always kind of assumed that uh, probably the same thing a lot of people do, that major leaguers are kind of a little bit cocky, maybe a little bit arrogant. And uh, when I got to professional baseball and then got to the major leagues, honestly, I would say that 99, it felt like 99% of the players were not like that at all. I found almost all of them to be super nice, super down to earth. And you would never know that they were major league players. You'd never know that some of them were making hundreds of millions of dollars. Now, there were a couple that you that were maybe a little cocky, but I would say the majority of them, far, way, 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 way more of them were just regular, normal people. They just happened to be really, really good at baseball, okay? Um, I remember actually my very first, and this was, this was interesting. My very first game in spring training, uh, in Major League spring training. So my first year, uh, I get drafted. I play short season, and then I play low A ball. And then in the spring, I go to spring training. And the first day I get there, they tell me, hey, you're going to play in the Major League game. And I, I was in minor league camp that year, but I literally got there. I'm like hitting on the field. I have an un a broken in glove. It's like fresh out of the box. And I thought I had like a couple weeks because they had me get down to camp early. Um, I thought I had a couple weeks to get going and break stuff in. And they were like, hey, man, you're going to go to the Major League game today. And I was like, oh, cool. I'm going to go watch the game. And I ended up playing in it. <laughs> but I remember I got – we are playing against Chicago Cubs. And I'm in the clubhouse before the game. And I don't really know anybody. And I'm really quiet. And I don't say anything to anyone. Again, this is my first time being around Major League players. And our second baseman, who I'm having a mental block right now, you guys probably can help me out. Um, he was a veteran player. Uh, this was with the Padres again. He played with the uh, he played with the Red Sox. He might have won a World Series. I'm not sure. He's a, a second baseman, uh, left-handed hitter. What was his name? I cannot remember. I feel like it began with a B. No, it didn't. Maybe it was a W. Anyways. Um, let me know. It was a second baseman for the Red Sox. Played a couple of years. Decent left-handed hitter. Veteran guy. Okay? And uh, I, I'm, I'm like sitting here, and he's kind of sitting like right there. And he was talking to uh, someone. I don't remember who he was talking to. And I remember him talking. And again, at this point, like I'm like, I get in there, and I'm like, oh, man. like At the time, I knew exactly who it was. I was like, this dude, play for, I've seen this guy play a million times. Watching for the Red Sox forever. And uh, he's talking and he's like, you know, every game, he's like, my, for most of my career, I got so nervous because I just thought I was going to screw up. I thought something was going to happen where, you know, I just embarrassed myself on the field. And I remember th hearing him say that. And like, in my mind, I always thought, you know, for me, as I'm getting out there, I was probably thinking that like, oh, shit, don't, don't mess up here. Like, I don't want to embarrass myself. But I remember thinking, like, that's crazy. Like, a major league veteran guy who just talked about how he, he's typically, like, pretty anxious, pretty nervous when he's playing in games. And he's saying, like, I don't want to screw this thing up. And that was the opposite. Like, I literally thought, like, everyone would be like, I'm like the man, dude. Like, I'm the greatest player of all time. And you, you stink. And I'm awesome. And it honestly wasn't like that with most players. Now, most players, I think, were... A lot of players are confident, right? Not cocky, but confident. But that was an example of someone that obviously was was not was, and, and he was a really really good player. If you guys can name the guy, you, I'm sure you will. He had a long long career and he played super well. So obviously he got the job done. But it's interesting in his mind, he wasn't like this. You know, I'm the greatest player ever. I'm this cocky bastard or whatever. And. Uh, and so it was interesting. And that's how I literally, when I, when I met a bunch of players, even when I met like really, really good players, like I got to play with Adrian Gonzalez and I got to be in spring training with him a lot and in the major leagues with him. And like the guy was like the most down to earth, like nice, quiet guy ever. Like he wasn't 
what you would think of as a major league all-star who's a multi-year over and over again like top player in the game and that's how most guys were so um it was just interesting uh let me know in the comment section below again if you have any more questions i'll try to give you guys some insight into it uh share the video with all your friends subscribe to the channel all that good stuff give the video a thumbs up Check out the description box below. We got a bunch of uh, things down there for you guys to check out. We got a deal going on Plate Crate. Got a link to our Patreon page. Got a bunch of other stuff. And that's all I got. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later.